In this uh, short tutorial, we will develop an understanding of the reverse osmosis mechanism. In a uh, previous tutorial on osmosis, you will recall that we had a, a U-shaped apparatus and uh, on one side we had sugar molecules in water, we have a semi-permeable membrane and then on the left hand side we have water. Note that sugar molecules cannot pass through the membrane because the size of the sugar molecules is larger than the pore space of the membrane. So due to osmosis, pure water flows to the right hand column and that height of the column will increase. And of course, sugar molecules cannot pass through the semi-permeable membrane. So in uh, reverse osmosis, a pressure higher than the osmotic pressure is applied to the right hand column. This will cause pure water to flow through the membrane to the left hand column. Note that the sugar molecules will be unable to move through that membrane, but water uh, due to the pressure applied on the right hand side will be forced to the left hand side. And as a result, the sugar concentration in the right hand column will increase. And this will be due to reverse osmosis. So as we see in this process, we are applying pressure to realize reverse osmosis and concentrate the solution in the right hand column.